All right, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, we're going to take away some of the edges and that kind of thing, make these pictures blend into each other a little bit better. So let's start off by actually selecting the mask on um, our hero right here, and that's this part right here. So we're going to select the mask, see how that's selected. If I hold down the Option key and click on it, it actually shows you the mask. So turn that off, Option click again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a brush. And if you go over here, select the brush settings. And what I did was I picked around 800 or so. And uh, so if I go around 800 for size, and the hardness is at zero. And what I'm going to also do is I'm going to turn my opacity down to about 50. Great. Put the brush settings away. And remember, I'm painting actually on the mask itself. So that's allowing me to cut away at the bottom at the edges, right? Now, in actual fact, I want to cut away a fair amount. So I'm going to put the opacity up to zero and just take away. There we go. That's kind of nice. And it sort of blends in a little bit nicely with the bottom part of the texture right there. I kind of like that. So bring this back down to about 50 and we're going to select the next mask. Crazy boss, okay. And we're going to add a little bit in here. Don't forget that this is a separate mask so you might need to add in a little bit there. Take out. And what the idea is, is that we're just kind of trying to blend in. Whoop, that's too much. Go back to the separate mask. Maybe I should actually flatten these guys and make it all one. But I don't really like to do that because the, um, you know, I might want to change the color a little bit later. That might be a bit much. Back up a bit. There we go. Okay, going to go to um, blend this in. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in uh, this a little bit more just so that we have that in the middle. Awesome. Okay.